Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. Childhood abuse can develop into lifelong issues, from insecurity to intimacy issues. Depending on the severity, it can also cause the person to suffer post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Along with mental health awareness, our team also wants to take a stand and educate the public on the dangerous effects of child abuse. Some of the information we are about to share might be triggering, so we advise our viewers to be careful. If you or someone you know is being abused, we advise you to call your emergency hotline immediately for help. Here are six types of child abuse. 1. Name calling and other forms of verbal abuse. While some people might argue and say that words will never hurt them, words can and often do hurt, especially when you're young. Harsh words from a parent or guardian has even greater ability to hurt. One study by Johnson, Cohen, and others suggests that verbal child abuse can increase the risk of the victim developing personality disorders. Research by Tisha and colleagues also shows that verbal abuse can negatively alter the development of the brain. As a result, verbal abuse can have serious physical effects on the child. 2. Shaming Shaming people for something that isn't wrong is an abusive behavior parents can inflict on their kids to gain control. It causes the victim to develop insecurities which parents can use to get what they want if they find that their child is disobeying them. Over time, this causes the child to lose trust in their caretaker. As they grow up, they may also become hesitant in developing social connections with people, afraid that one day they will be betrayed or hurt. 3. Extreme Helicopter Parenting Helicopter parenting is different from being a pushy parent. Extreme helicopter parenting occurs when parents are so overbearing that children do not have any say in even minor details. Parents who constantly check in on their child make it difficult for the child to learn healthy boundaries. Furthermore, if children are pushed too far emotionally or physically, they can develop physical or mental scars. 4. Sexual Abuse Sexual abuse, however explicit or implicit, can cause long-lasting harmful effects on the child. The child may suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and can close themselves off completely afraid of getting into relationships. This can cause them to fear intimacy. As a result, it's not just loneliness or alienation that they will experience growing up, but they may never feel safe again because their caretaker took that away. 5. Neglect Not providing a child with proper emotional or physical needs can lead to many problems down the road. The child may become emotionally, socially, or psychologically underdeveloped. But neglect of physical and security needs, such as food and proper shelter, can also cause damage to the child's physical health. Depending on the severity, it can even result in immediate death. 6. Physical Abuse Physical abuse involves any harmful activity that causes a person to feel pain. Kicking, slapping, hitting, throwing, biting, and choking are only a few to name. The child may develop cuts, scars, bruises, broken bones, or even death depending on how badly they were beaten. Never allow someone to hit you or excuse the action even if they apologize. Please call for help from the police before things get more out of hand. Which types of child abuse have you heard about? Did you find this helpful? We know this isn't an easy topic to talk about, but hope that any brave discussions you share below can bring our community closer. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our Psy pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. 
Your funding will help us produce quality scripting, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!